Hey, Ty Strand here. Want to uh, do another quick Zurb foundation, uh, less of a tutorial, more kind of uh, showing you some of the flexibility thereof. You know, probably I like you uh, had a chance to look at the iBooks author um, from Apple, and I obviously I really liked it. it was nice. Um, and of course, you know that like the next day I had a client say, "Oh, hey, can you make that for us?" And of course, you know, after talking to them, well, no, they don't have iPads, but they want that. And it's like, have you thought about it? <laughs> you know, what's the point? It's only for an iPad. You can't use it on your phones, even though they, they just gave my phones, which is unbelievable that an agency did that. But um, but they don't have iPads yet. Only like a couple executives have iPads. So I said, well, you know, let's do an HTML and we can make something that works similar and that way, people can use it on their phones. You can use it on your desktops. You can use it on your iPads for those few people who, who actually need it for that. Um, so obviously, the first thing I thought of was Zurb. Uh, I love letting Zurb do all the he heavy lifting for me. It's it's great. And then I just thought about you know well what is the iBook really doing? It's it's taking a certain section and it's displaying it one section at a time, and unless it's in portrait mode, and then it's displays them all by stacking them up so that wasn't really too hard to do uh, with a little CSS and a little JavaScript excuse me I should say jQuery if you say JavaScript and you actually mean jQuery people have a have a cow jQuery all right so one thing I did uh, again typical serve foundation stuff um, except for I left my navigation and then the next div I put in was actually a div I just called text container, and that's for all my, well, all my text. Uh, um, the navigation is going to remain at the top of the book or whatever you want to call this thing. Um, put in some controls for next and previous, and as you can see here in this sec, in this, I divided up some sections, and I said, well, in each of these sections. It's going to have a class of page L's, and then it's going to have a div with a class of page, and as you can see, the first one is called current. Um, initially, I did this as an unordered list. That's why the class is page LIS, is for, because it was you know, list items. I decided to actually change it into sections rather than list items, and I didn't feel like rewriting it. The CSS code, a perfectly legitimate class name, just not for LIS, LIs anymore. So anyway, so we have that there. Um, let's look at actually first kind of what we're going to be doing here. Let's grab. All right, so here is our, like I said, it's pretty typical, um, except for if you notice, again, we have the controls here, and when you click on it, the next page comes up and you see the page number changed and if I were to resize this down to a smaller size let's slide it over a little bit so you can see now it restacked and the controls disappeared but you have everything in one smooth flow again similar to what the iBooks have done I know not as nice and it's definitely a little harder to make than using the iTunes, excuse me, the iBook author. Um, but for us, it serves its purpose. Again, this is just what I needed for a client. And again, uh, here's a Safari version. It's obviously, if you're using an iPad or iPhone, you're going to be using Safari, not uh, Firefox. But again, same same differential. Okay. So again, as you can see, the navigation stays up top in the title. And what changes is the insides. All right, that was pretty simple to do. Let me show you kind of how I did it. Um, obviously, first you got your CSS. Anything that's labeled with current, the current div, I want to display a block. <laughs> but for the rest of the sections, I really want the display to be none. It was pretty much as simple as that. Um, then we use jQuery. Let's jump down to the bottom. Obviously, we want you to count the in the text div how many sections uh, have the class of page L's. Uh, what's the length of that? Count those. 
sign the first one zero and make sure that's the current then we hit next we're gonna add current to the one that you're the one that's coming up and removing it from the prior one now one thing you may notice is I added the little uh, fade in fade out on the page I actually found it easier to on the remove class do the fade there rather than actually on the add class do the fade in. It was, I don't know why but it just was. Remove class have a fade and so it worked pretty well. Okay. Everything else is your typical your typical stuff you're already familiar with. Oops. Alright. You see I even got a little flex slider in here. Alright so what if the question is obviously what if you want to add new sections? And pretty simple. Make sure that it's in the uh, make sure that it's inside the text container section. I want to class page LIS. There we go. And actually make my life a little easier I'm gonna just do a little Zen coding on this so don't worry about it. I'll, I'll go over it briefly um, if you haven't used this before don't worry about it. it's not a big deal uh, I want another div class of oh, columns yeah I can type today columns and I want this is two three of them All right, so as you can see, now we just got our our divs. We got our rows already in here. Oh, I didn't add my row. That might help. Got to wrap that in a row. You don't want to forget that with uh Don't want to forget that. That will definitely cause a problem. All right, so then go out and grab some lorem ipsum right quick. Uh, let's see. You can have, here we go. Some lorem ipsum that we all know and love. Then just drop some in. I know this is all the exciting stuff of development, right? Watching me type in something or paste in something. Ah, also, don't forget on your columns to add whatever column number you want. Make sure it adds up to 12 again. I'm just using four, just kind of generically. Now, one thing about this, it's probably obvious by now, but if you're using something like this it's not going to be like iBooks and reflow automatically for you uh, to the next page if your design goes over the the height and width it's going to go over so you might want to think about that as you're kind of doing these out so you probably noticed before it was four pages now it's five because as soon as I added the class LIS's I automatically knew to count it still fading in and out on the next ones and here's the paragraphs of lorem ipsum I just put in and again, you can even do other things, uh, adding your boxes in. Uh, and it, again, works pretty good. So anyways, if you have any problems or questions, drop me a line. And obviously, this is something that I hope other people will improve upon. I'll make sure that I put it in a Dropbox for you guys to check out. And I'll play with it at your leisure, all right? Hey, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.